What's up, guys? Welcome back to Man About Cake. Yes. And guess what? Brandon's back too. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> we're gonna figure out where you were. So today, on this episode, we're gonna do a Mac challenge. Mac challenge. I don't know what this means or what it is. So let's do it. Let's do it. Woo! I'm scared. <laughs> So, uh, James, what are we doing? <laughs> well, I've been watching YouTube and people do these grocery store cakes where they buy cakes from the grocery store and make them look good. So I thought you should do it. Yeah, but who bought the cake? <laughs> we all bought one. Oh God. All right, Tommy, give me your cake. Oh, this one's cute. Okay, I can, I can deal with that. Oh God, okay, German chocolate. Here, I got this little one. It's only five bucks. Brandon, is this is a cheesecake. You don't ice cheesecake? You're gonna ice this cake. Okay, I'll try. Okay, so say it again. What do I do with this? So now you make those cool. three individual cakes. You make it into one big cake. I have to stack it. Well, actually, you guys did a pretty good job because these all are stackable. All right. Don't so. ruin my piping on top. You yeah, didn't, don't ruin my barf on my it. German chocolate cake. You told me I have to make it different. I have to like strip them and then well, do my own but, thing. Like also use them too. <laughs> okay, let's see how this goes. I guess I need to get my tools and uh, break these guys down. Mac challenge. Okay. Um, cake surgery. That is a German chocolate cake. You know, I actually enjoy German chocolate cake very much, but I have to say the filling looks like barf. What is underneath? Can I have that garbage barf? <laughs> you can't have that garbage barf. It came off like skin. Brandon, I dare you to eat that. These cakes are really small. Is there more cake? We got two of each. Oh, you guys are amazing. Well, let's just scrape these first to see what we have underneath. This is just chocolate cake. Yes, but it's German chocolate cake. It is German chocolate cake. Would you like a Swister Tista? That's is German. Is, is that German? <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Nine is German. Comment below if you're an offended German. <laughs> exactly right. Hey, what makes this a German chocolate cake? Do you know? Does it have to be from Germany? They're all made in Germany and they're shipped to the United States. Oh, <laughs> turns out you're wrong. It was originated by baker Samuel German and he it, developed a type of dark baking chocolate that yeah. he just used his name and now people think it comes from Germany, but it doesn't. That was a, called a joke, James. Okay, so I have another one of these, right? You got one more of those, yeah. Okay, so I'll stack those two together, that's good. Hi. This guy, is this the board it's on? Oh no, there's a board, okay. This guy's actually really cute. Can I wipe my hand real fast? <laughs> Actually, I work with a lot of grocery store chains for R&D stuff, and they're really, really talented decorators. You guys chose cakes that were made in like factories. Brandon, I dare you to take a bite of this big lump of chocolate frosting. I will. Actually, you owe us that, because you've been gone forever. I know. I'm gonna have to adapt to eating all this cake. All right, so there's two of these, right? So I can do a double stack of that. The cheesecake, I think I could put two cheesecakes together with like ganache in between. The curls feel weird to me to be on there, so let's take the curls off. By the way, you guys could totally do this yourself. There's a link in the description box below on how you can level up a store-bought cake. All right, now I'm gonna get to work on, I don't know what's next. Okay, so I decided what I'm gonna do for my grocery store cake Mac challenge. Mac challenge! Is that gonna be every time? Well, every time what? That I say those words. What words? Mac challenge. Mac challenge! So the answer is yes. All right, so since this is German chocolate cake and it's filled already, I don't have any German chocolate cake filling, but I do have my black buttercream, so I'm gonna stick them together using that. But I don't wanna put it on this gold board, I'm gonna use my own board. This is about an eight inch. Let's flip this guy over. So is this kind of like the hardest challenge you've ever done, Joshua? No, I mean, I do this a lot actually for customers. You go to the grocery store it's, and buy them a cake? No, so like if I do work with the in-store bakery, I will go take the, their cakes, take their cakes. I won't break them down like this. I'll use all their components and make just make something different, which is really fun because then I'll go into the grocery store and I'm like, I invented that. That's mine. Anyways, you have a show for that now. You still get excited about the grocery store cake? I love the grocery store. Are you kidding me? It's like my favorite place. No, no one? No one likes the grocery store? Oh, I hate the grocery store. I buy my groceries everything? at the gas station. You always eat at the gas station. Speaking of, Brandon, let's chat for a second. Hit where me. were you? I was on an epic honeymoon. No, where were you really? Well, I know that it what did it. honeymoon takes that long. Right? I know. So it got a little a little crazy. So we missed our flight, right? So okay. this guy was super generous he, and he let us ride in his FedEx plane. Well, turns out it was not safe to fly in that plane. 
and we had a, a rough landing in the ocean and we just floated to an island and just hung out there for a while. On heat, it was fine. We oh, I'm to... sorry, did you, have a, uh, did you have a soccer ball named Wilson? It was a <laughs> volleyball, and yes, his name was Wilson. Brandon, um, Brandon, Brandon that's, that's the movie Castaway. That's, that's totally Castaway. Uh, all right, you got me. Where were you for real? They want to know. All right, um, we, we took a budget flight to an island just south of Hawaii. Okay. Um, I don't think there are islands just south of yeah, Hawaii. Yeah, okay. they're really small. You gotta zoom in on Google. It was crazy, so the weather took a turn. Okay. Uh, but we, you know, we didn't want to let, let it ruin our vacation, so we kind of just hung out underneath, you know, any kind of cover we could find. Well, that didn't help because the weather was a tornado with sharks in it. These sharks <laughs> yes. were jumping out no. and biting Sharknado. people. Sharknado. You're Sharknado. Saying Sharknado. Everyone no. has seen that movie. That's not a movie. This is a thing. You are such a liar. I give up. We'll, we're never going to find out where you actually were. Final coat is done. We're gonna get this in the cooler to firm up completely, and I'm gonna tighten it up uh, when I pull it out, and then we're gonna do our little mirror glaze technique with black mirror glaze. Okay, now my cake is all final, coated, and tight. And now we're going to do kind of like the color dragging technique, but we're gonna do it with black mirror glaze. Hey, Joshua. Yes. You wanna hear some viewer comments and questions? Please. I actually have a theme for this one today. Uh-oh, uh okay. Marie McDuffie says, I'm a silent watcher, but I will come out of silence for Brandon. Hashtag save Brandon. Yeah. So the theme is Brandon. Erica Richards says, is anyone going to mention that I think Brandon might be in some kind of castaway situation? Is he ever coming back? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Lily J. Thomas said, y'all better answer the question next episode of where Brandon is. Hashtag save Brandon. Apparently this hashtag save I like Brandon caught on. I hashtag save Brandon. I read a bunch of those. They were yeah. really funny. Lily J. Thomas got my back. Brandon, can you be honest with us and just tell us where you yeah, were? Yeah, where were you, Brandon? All right, all right. Anahe and I, we actually did a group honeymoon. We got nine of our best friends, and we put together this huge plan to uh, rob the Bellagio so that I didn't have to come back to work. Brandon, you're describing Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> These are just ocean-themed movies. What? That's a real thing. Oh, Brandon. <laughs> That looks pretty sharp. Now I'm gonna grab my other cakes. We're gonna stack it. Ah! Our cake is all stacked and now it's time to decorate with some fresh flowers. I'm not gonna stick the flowers directly into the cake. I'm gonna stick them into buttercream. So I'm gonna pipe a really thick band of buttercream along the bottom and on the top and then I'll start cutting flowers and just place in and see what looks best. I decided to finish this with fresh flowers because you can get those at the grocery store as well. So we got the cake to the grocery store, flowers at the grocery store, you have my recipes in the eye or down there and you can get all that stuff at the grocery store for the icing and the mirror glaze. One stop shop. Now for the final touch, a little bit of gold leaf. Our grocery store cake Mac challenge is all complete. Mac challenge! <laughs> and I think she turned out super festive. Don't forget guys, there's a link below for you to learn how to spruce up your own grocery store cake. Next week, we're making a cake for a super fan. It's gonna be awesome. Let's eat her. Hmm, <laughs> this was good inside and out. Go on and tell me what you told me yesterday. You eat uh, peanut butter toast with mustard on it. I think we could get Joshua to try it. Would you try it? I'll try anything. I'm a chef, which is why I constantly have food poisoning. Brandon, what's your weird thing you eat? Or the gross looking thing you eat? Well, it, 
it starts out not so gross, like just spam. And then you take a cup of noodles, get it nice and hot and soft, put it in a bowl, and mix it all together. It's like uh, gumbo. That's not gumbo. Yeah. <laughs> I grew gas up on the station, Gulf Coast. Gas that station not... gumbo. Uh. Gas station gumbo.